Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about dynamic zone placement and dynamic routing um, within the Cadence BCB tools. So I've got a, a flexi rigid board here with different stack ups in different zones in the board. So there are other videos showing you the zones, but if we just have a quick look at the board, the zone outline, just turn the zone outline layers on. Let's just turn off all the connections. You'll see effectively my board is split up into these different zones. So effectively I've got a main PCB, I've got a flexi, a flexi stiffener, a con flexi stiffener, a con flexi, an LCD stiffener, and an LCD flexi. Um, and th these have different uh, cross sections. So this is a six layer board, this is a two layer board. If we look at the, the cross section editor, you can see effectively if I look at all the different stack ups, my primary section is the six layer board. So the top is the top of the, the six layer board, the bottom is the bottom of the six layer board. The flexi section though has effectively a top of inner layer one and a bottom of inner layer two and that's the same for the other stiffness stuff as well. So from a placement point of view, when I'm looking at a component placement, let's just go back to the default demo view. When I place components in the top, I want to use effectively the, the top side of the, the, the board, which is the blue color. If I mirror them, I want them to use the bottom side of the board, which is the red color. If I place them in the flexi or the flexi stiffener, I want them to use inner one and inner two as effectively the top and the bottom. And I don't want to have to do anything special to the components. So if I just go into to placement edit mode, we're looking at our options pane. There's, I've got two components here. So switch one, I bring in, obviously if I bring in switch one in the, in the main part of the PCB, top corresponds with the top, top of the board. If I do a right click mirror, it goes to the bottom, which effectively is the bottom layer of the board. So let's just mirror that again and we'll just place that on the top. So that's that's placing as expected. Um, but if I go and choose, let's go to the options pane and just pick uh, P2. So P2, obviously if I bring P2, let's just rotate this here and just throw this down here, not much space. You can see that's gonna be placed on the top. If I mirror that, that'll be placed on the bottom. If we take this over into the flexi stiffener area and just do a rotate that to put it into the space, we'll place it on the bottom of the, of the flexi stiffener. It places it dynamically onto effectively inner layer two because this is the, the bottom of this flexi section. If I just mirror that again, it then places it dynamically onto inner layer one. So it's dynamic placement. So if I place it in this section, it would place it on the top of the board. If I place it in this area, it would place it on the top of the flexi section, which would be inner layer one. It's automatically going to add any classes and subclasses that we need. So obviously I've got uh, inner one and inner two, but if I go to the geometry folder now, you can see I've got things like assembly for inner one and inner two. I've got a uh, place mask for inner one and inner two, uh, place bound for inner one and inner two, solder mask for inner one and inner two. So these are all being added dynamically, uh, which is saving you lots and lots of time. So that's the dynamic placement section. But from a routing point of view, it's exactly the same. So if, if, if I invoke the add connect command and I'm routing, let's just make sure I'm in working layer mode, I am. So in the main part of the PCB, I've got a choice of six layers. So if I use the working layer mode, I get my, my full choice of six layers here. So I can go to inner one, I can go to the bottom, I can go to uh, inner one again, let's uh, go to the top. So you can move around the different layers that you need, okay? As soon as I, um, let's just drop a, a via there. So as soon as I go into um, heading towards the flexi section, you can see I get an error here. The, the track is changing color to say, if I click continue with this, I'm gonna get a DRC. If I actually click, it says location is not legal because there's no active subclass in this zone. So if we then go and do a right click change to active layer in a one, it allows me to come into this zone area. Now, literally when I double click to add a via, it's just swapping between the two legal layers because this is effectively dynamically the two layers that are allowed in this area. If we come back into the main part of the PCB, I'm back to my six layer board again, so I can then carry on with that. So this is what they class as dynamic routing, and it's really, really useful and saves you lots of time. There's no setup. This is all handled automatically when you uh, invoke the flexi rigid stuff.